Eastern. Time is 7.52 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. These are the 8 p.m. observations for Saturday. At Adrian, it was mostly cloudy. The temperature was 68 degrees, the dew point 52, and the relative humidity 56%. The wind was southeast at 5 miles an hour. The pressure was 30.10 inches and rising. In other local observations, it was clear, with a temperature of 61 at Monroe and 67 at Ypsilanti. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 70 at Detroit, 64 at Lambertville, and 69 at Defiance. It was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 70 at Hillsdale, and 70 at Toledo. Observations from the rest of the region. It was clear, with a temperature of 62 at Cleveland, and 71 at Alpena. It was partly cloudy, with a temperature of 67 at Cincinnati, 67 at Fort Wayne, and 71 at Grand Rapids. At Chicago, it was mostly cloudy, with a temperature of 76. This is no weather radio all hazards. Station WFG 647 in Adrian. The station broadcasts from the National Weather Service in White Lake at a frequency of 162.45 megahertz. Here is the forecast for southeast lower Michigan. The rest of tonight, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Patchy fog by midnight. Lows 54 to 58. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 30%. Sunday, mostly cloudy through early afternoon, becoming partly cloudy. Patchy fog through early afternoon. A chance of showers and thunderstorms. Record high 73 to 77. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Sunday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms through midnight. Patchy fog through the night. Lows 52 to 56. Light south winds. Chance of rain 30%. And now the forecast for the Erie Shoreline region. The rest of tonight, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Widespread fog, locally dense by midnight. Lows 52 to 56. Southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour by late evening, becoming light and variable. Chance of rain 30%. Sunday, widespread fog, locally dense through early afternoon. Mostly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Record high 71 to 75. Southwest winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain 50%. Sunday night, partly cloudy. A chance of showers and thunderstorms through midnight. Areas of fog through the night. Lows 51 to 55. Light south winds. Chance of rain 30%. Also, the forecast for northwest Ohio. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening. Then mostly cloudy with scattered showers and chance of thunderstorms overnight. Lows in the upper 50s. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Chance of measurable precipitation 40%. Sunday, mostly cloudy in the morning then becoming partly cloudy. Scattered showers and chance of thunderstorms. Highs in the mid-70s. Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chance of measurable precipitation 50%. And now the remainder of the 7-day forecast for the listening area. Monday, partly cloudy. Patchy fog through early afternoon. Record high 75 to 79. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy. Lows 54 to 58. Light south winds. Tuesday, partly cloudy. High 76 to 80. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows 56 to 60. Wednesday, mostly sunny. High 74 to 78. Wednesday night, partly cloudy. Lows 54 to 58. Thursday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. High 68 to 72. Chance of rain 40%. Thursday night, partly cloudy with a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows 49 to 53. Chance of rain 40%. Friday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers. Highs 62 to 66. Chance of rain 40%. Friday night, mostly cloudy with a chance of showers. Lows 44 to 48. Chance of rain 50%. Saturday, partly cloudy with a chance of showers. Highs 55 to 59. Chance of rain 40%. This is an important message for the following counties in Ohio, Fulton, and Williams. The flood warning has been extended for the Tipton River near Stryker until Sunday morning. At 10 p.m. Friday, the stage was 11.2 feet and steady. Minor flooding is occurring, and minor flooding is forecast. Flood stage is 11.0 feet. Forecast, the river will fall.
Bravo of the 11.0 foot flood stage around 8 a.m. Saturday, March 17th. At 11.0 feet, flooding at low in areas around Stryker can't be expected. These are the 8 p.m. observations for Saturday.